Warning, warning. There are people around the world who live with some of the most unbelievable and amazing pets. These are our babies. We're really blessed to have these beautiful puppies in our life. They're such a beautiful animal, they deserve to live. As a photojournalist, I travel to beautiful locations to showcase to the world that ultimate love can be given to any creature. Oh, yeah. Big or small, hairy or scaly. I'm Jason Kenzie, adventurer and host. These are my pet adventures. Hold on. There you go. There you go. All right. Oh my God. He's going. Okay, I am. There goes. Woo! <laughs> He's right. Okay. In this day and age, we think of people owning pets with cats, birds, and with cute little dogs. Hi little guy, how are you? What is his name? Norbert. Hi Norbert. Hi. How old is you? I'm okay. Ten. Today. Okay. Today. 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 Oh cool. <laughs> These are one of the most beautiful dogs. And I see you have a very good groom. What would you say if I told you that there is a guy, just sorry, that owns a tarantula the size of a plate. Whatever else it is, I don't care. I would be totally scared. <laughs> but if he believes in his tarantula, then that's all good. <laughs> as long as it's not in my plate, then it's all good. <laughs> Thank you so much You're for welcome. your time. Have a good day. It's awesome how these people love their little dogs. But now I'm heading over to Surrey to meet Bruce. Okay. Well. I'm here now. Come on, let's go. Sorry. See ya. Hi, Bruce. Hey, Jason, nice to, nice to meet you. Okay, let's go inside. Tell me what your name is and what do you do? My name is Bruce, and I breed, raise, and sell mostly tarantulas as well as other invertebrates and reptiles. So people know of you by the name of Bruce Cruz? Through right? Facebook, yes. Through Facebook? Yes, business is something I've been doing for pretty much my whole life. Uh, well, tarantula specifically, I've been doing for 30 years. 30 years? And reptiles, I started before that. So why did you get into doing uh, spiders? Like, you know, everyone, usually when people think of uh, a pet, they usually think of a dog or a cat or maybe a bird. But you, you think spiders. So what is the fascination with spiders? That started pretty young. When I was little, I had, uh, you know, most kids like growing little plants and things like that. I was like six years old, five years old. That, you know, some of these insects were enemies of plants, you know, killed a few of these insects. And within a short period of time, I'd realized that there was something that was already quite good at doing that, which was spiders. And discovering that they were really quite interesting. And then what wound up happening from there was that I had collected and kept so many local spiders, but a lot of the local spiders are pretty short lived and they don't necessarily do super well in captivity. So I moved on to other creatures. I had fish and I was breeding mice and reptiles and this sort of thing. And then finally in the sort of mid late 80s, I found somebody that actually had tarantulas. And after that, it was just an addiction. I just went crazy. Um, have you ever been bitten? I've had now 10 bites in my life. Nine, nine bites. All of them good ones. And. Uh, can't be bit by the mild ones, you gotta get bit by the really good ones. But tarantulas really aren't very dangerous. The, the bites are sometimes painful, there may be muscle spots and things like this, but it's not a, not a serious risk. So what are the spiders you have today? So I brought just a couple up here. This, uh, this first one here is a pretty gentle one. It's a choco gold stripe. This is one of the largest spiders in its genus, Gramostola. And Gramostola is quite well known for things like the, the Chilean rose hair. So they're all heavy bodied, gentle, terrestrial tarantulas. And these guys come from Argentina, relatively dry habitat. Can I hold them? Sure. So, what is the name of this guy? This is a Choco Gold Stripe. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but you can see there's various hints of like iridescent green, blue, and purple on her. They're really quite beautiful spiders. 
Even though Bruce is talking to me, I don't hear a word he's saying. Because I am just focused on this giant spider that is in my hand. I am so scared. I know that I cannot drop this spider because that would kill it. I'm also hoping and praying that he doesn't bite me. I'm walking through the jungles and <laughs> this falls out of a tree onto me. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be screaming like a little girl. <laughs> this guy, hopefully he's not going to be squirrely on this because this is a much faster spider. As I thought. But I'll bet you she's getting a better look than you are. I would, I would wager. Because they're light. Mm. Like from my angle it's sort of a nice subtly purple. But she's probably seeing a lot more blue than we are. Yeah, 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 look at that. Oh, yeah, oh. I can see how it shimmers. Yeah. The color shimmers. Wow, this is so cool. And, uh, he couldn't function properly, so he was hitting the floor with this thing. But the spider was about a foot out of range. <laughs> and his brain just wasn't registering like it's right there. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, these guys feel so weird. Good thinking. I had so much fun with Bruce. He is such an amazing host. Seeing his love that he has for his spiders, I am just awesome. And having this giant tarantula on my hand is terrifying. Look, I think he's looking at me. Well, I'm on to my next animal adventure. My name is Jason Kenzie, and this is Life Through My Lens. Wow, this is such an amazing photo shoot and meeting Bruce and seeing his affection with his spiders. It's very touching to me. But now, I'm on to my next pet adventure. And before I leave, I want you all to go out and support these animal rescues. Because every pet has a heartbeat and every heartbeat needs our help. So now I'm on to my next animal adventure. And I was never afraid of those spiders. I'm the warrior. <laughs> That's not funny.